everybody. I haven't properly introduced myself yet. My name is Jason. Blue Line Whitetails. Here in Greene County today. Uh, I got some stuff to do. I got a couple cuttybacks that are down. Um, I got a. I'm gonna try to find some some buck sign, maybe a couple scrapes, some rubs. Move some cameras around and see what kind of bucks we got around here. This first year hunting this place, it's pretty much all woods. It's like 130 acres in the middle of thousands of acres. It's a couple of food plots on the property. Um, as I move through here, I'll show you guys the place. <sighs> like I said, I just have to fix a few things. I got vacation next week. It's been hot. There's a cold front coming. I want to get all my ducks in a row for just in case the bucks get on their feet and start moving. This place is pretty neat. It's a uh, it's a lot of woods. I'm sure there's a few big bucks around. Um, not a whole lot of food, but I'll show you around here. It's a big food pot right there. In fact, I can't actually hunt that. There's a long lane, one access lane that comes down that you gotta come through here. Somebody else hunts this. Apparently, he's a pretty nice guy. I've never met him, but uh pond but get my spray myself with some tech repellent and start moving all right i don't know what happened i had so much footage of the walk in there anyways i'm coming up on the first food pot my camera messed up for like the last 10 minutes or something it's a good start to things here we go here's a scrape yeah, maybe I don't know, not really. A lot of us. It's a bare spot. Oh, okay. This food pot don't look terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, it's a food pot. Looks like shit, to be quite honest. I mean, there's some peas. I mean, there's things growing. Definitely not great. Oh, that's annoying. There's my cutty back. Oh, where's that? There it is. Let's see if I can't figure out the dilemma with this cutty back. To say I'm disappointed in this food pot would be an understatement. I've never not had turnips. Girl. Here's clover. There's some turnips coming up, but nothing. Nothing crazy. I don't know. The soil needed some lime. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I didn't really test the pH. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. It was the last second food plot. Some radishes. God, nothing's lush about it, that's for sure. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking for a signal. The link level. That level is going to tell me how it's going to take me to the uh, the home camera. So it's gonna give me a level if the home camera's still alive, which I hope it is. I got a report from it this morning, so it should be. So it says 14 week. So I know it's that way somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. So I'm gonna start walking with that antenna up and hopefully I can find that camera. Get back with you. Well, my plan worked. If you see, I spy. There she be. Go ahead and get a close up. That took some doing. I'm sweaty. And I'm hot. It's miserable. And we got spoiled last year in the freaking last October, man. That last October was a good October. 
now everybody's expecting cold, cold, cold. Well, it ain't here yet. Anyways, let's go grab this camera. A little bit better. I can't. There we go. That ain't coming out of there. Now I'm gonna make a scrape. Yeah, I ain't coming out of there, right? There it goes. All right. Now here we are. I'm leaving. Made three scrapes. I moved two cameras. I walked about 20, 20 miles. Probably not 20, but it felt like it. Oh, no, that way. Looks hard though. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'm ready to go. I know things are slow going right now in this heat, as far as the content goes. Please stick with us. I promise you. I got some good land to hunt this year. And I'm trying to get some permission on another spot. So just maybe I can hunt the mountain. Anybody's, anybody's a Game of Thrones fan, this deer is the equivalent of the mountain. Game of Thrones. Last year he scored, I know a guy that found his sheds, scored 180 inches. I can hunt him this year. However, the permission land I have for that, he doesn't always, well, I've seen him there three times last year. And he was nowhere, I mean, he was far off. He was, uh, he's out in the bean field where I'm trying to get permission to hunt that bean field. I don't know if it'll work out. I can hope. Ah, oh, it's freaking places. Just treacherous. Anyways, I got some good land in Illinois. Got a few decent bucks over there. Probably 140, maybe 150, 150 inches. Probably not. Probably more like 145. But nonetheless, pretty nice bucks, mature. And uh, there's a whole bunch of woods behind it to my south boundary. And who knows what could come out of it. I'm the closest crops, so. Anyways, I got a lot of good land this year. Hoping for some good action for you guys. Stick with us, I know it's slow right now. Thanks for watching Blue Line Whitetails. I had, I had to show you guys this. You don't see these too often, but they are freaking delicious. And the deer absolutely love them. I've actually maybe, I've never seen one. I mean, I've come across them, but I've never seen one with this much fruit on it. It's a persimmon tree. Check it out. There's some persimmons on the ground right there. Look at that. Those things are Freaking delicious. Look at all of them in the tree. I'm trying to zoom in here. Look at all that. This is a gold mine right here. Look at all them persimmons. I mean, the tree is plumb full of them. Anyways, that's a real treat. I wish I could sit here and I about guarantee there's a buck come out here tonight. Kind of in this easement though, I don't know if I'm allowed to be here. 
Anyways, have a good one. See you guys.